What's up guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh here. I know it has been a while and I look funny because my barber messed up my hair. That's what happens when you're in a new place and there's new faces and you lost your barber. So you got to find someone. Having a barber is like a relationship. You got to find somebody who knows you. Okay? Now, this is what I want to show you guys. We're here for an install. Okay? So let's talk about it a little All bit. Alright, so you guys might, don't mind the mess. Um, moving a bunch of things. Uh, so you guys know this is the beast. All right. This is what she looks like working on it getting things together here and um, If you don't know I have the what? Oh my gosh, I Want to say I'll probably put it down on the, on the channel in the description or on it on the screen right now Because I can't think of the names right now. I want to say there was an APR Possibly or co co no current Karen Karen C-A-R-I-D-I -I, Karen.com I got those for like 150 originally. Um, now, pros and cons is pros from far back. It looks amazing. Um, it's more for style than it is functional. I pop. I really think because you know it's very flexy, bendy, all those different things, right? Um, this is the ZL1, same platform, of course, as the one I leave. We know everything's the same except for wheel suspension, um, uh, some braking. Um, the front canards, air, you know, the the bigger front splitter, the front facing a little bit, the grill, upper and lower grills. Uh, it's not miss, it's missing a fit fog light. These are more open um, to, for cooling. Uh, instead of the gloss um, front lip, side skirts, and all that stuff, it's more of a flat color. These are carbon, but it's it's Chevy calls it. Uh, come on, somebody help me here. Chevy calls it. Lord Jesus, I keep hitting the wall, so that's going to be something else I'm going to put on the bottom of the screen. But, yeah, so it is like a painted carbon that Chevy does with the side skirts and, and their different uh, lips and stuff like that. I don't know who likes painted carbon, but it is what it is, right? Um, so, like the one in Lee, like I said, it's flat colors. It's a track beast. It's specifically for the track, so why would you put, you know, all these shiny nice stuff that's going to show more pits and if you guys can see this car has been through the ringer every different track whether it be straight away road course um the the little ones that the miatas and hondas do i took this car out there before uh, my front windshield is pretty pitted so we got some work to do um this is pretty much just touching up florida so in florida we were focused more on you know speed and and aerodynamic and looks and just I was doing inside out inside and out well we're here we know the wrap is gone all right I'll add a picture right here so you guys can see what it looks like so the wrap is gone I'm um, sweating a little bit because we're in a garage uh and we're going back for the more sleek look all right we're going for the sleek look so I want to go away with this stuff now it's paying attention to detail it's not going to be quantity of how many things I've had done to the car but the quality of it so these plastic pieces got to go. My goal for the next three years is to have probably the most carbon fibered out Camaro there is, man. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change out the plastic um, carrot stuff. I couldn't wait, guys, until... <clears throat> so I couldn't wait to unbox. So the box is in the trash somewhere in those boxes already. Came in a case like this. And this is how it looks. Pretty amazing. Real, real, real carbon fiber canards, okay? So I have the instructions. I have everything we need to get this started. I want you guys to come along with me. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys. So for the old ones, um, I'm going to have to get inside the wheel well here. Uh, I'm going to have to take the screw off from in here. And then we are going to take out these two bolts right here. Um, like I said, what sucks about it is I did have to drill into the bumper. Now taking it out, I'm a little afraid of how it's gonna look, but we'll get to that part when we know. I have the instructions for the new stuff. You guys can see the placement of it. It tells pretty much the hardware screws. I went to Home Depot and got these screws. Um, so hopefully that works out. Um, says that you have to take the fender liner out, apply the, um, there is masking tape or 3M tape on the underneath, so we can make sure that it's going to, um, you, you got that cushion. The 3M is going to be that cushion between the paint itself and the product, and then we're going to also add screws for the secureness of it. 
uh, like I said, stop, step three, place it. Step four, make sure you line it up. Step five, they want you to take a marker to mark on the body. You're gonna have to drill into the bumper. So um, here goes nothing. And then step six, you're gonna drill into the bumper. Step seven, remove all your uh, sticky tape. Um, go ahead and apply it and then we're going to stick it on there. So that's how it's gonna go. I have 3M tape, I have all that stuff to put on. Let me, I got some tools. I got the drill, but I'm gonna need some more tools over here, so let's go grab that. And don't mind the fan, I'm hot. Gotta stay, you know, as cool as possible. I totally forgot to record that portion, but I took it off. That is what we got from the plastic piece. Let's go ahead and unbox this baby. All right, so let's see what a quick fitment looks like on it. All this crap up, super, super dirty. But, see, it fits right in there. Bam, bam, on the light. That's what we're getting. Looks good. Looks good. Okay, so that's what you guys, that's what we're getting right now. Cool. Fits around the light. But the only thing, like I said, is there's gonna have to be drilled holes. One, two, and we got three. So three drilled holes in, in there. All right, so we marked the holes where they need to be marked. That's home, as you can see. But like I said, I do want to add a little 3M between this and the car, so that way with the chafing, um, it'll help out a bit. So that'd be a good idea if any of you guys, and just security too. I mean, the screws are fine, duh, but you can never be too safe. So uh, snip that much. I got a heat gun. 
I want to heat up my 3M tape, of course, before I put it on. So I'm going to peel everything off. Already uh, wiped down the surface that it's going to be sticking to. Now what I'll probably do in the future is um, I'll probably paint the screws. I hate the color, but I didn't bring any paint with me, so that's something I can do. What you guys missed is I started the car, turned the wheel in a little bit, so I had better access. Let's see. You know, I want to feel it. I don't, when it comes to something that's important to you, something that's delicate, uh, whether it be the carbon fiber and stuff, you don't want to crack. So that's why I personally not use the Oh, but yeah, that's why I'm personally not using a drill. You might want to take off, I took off uh, one, two, there's two screws. Take off the last three at the bottom, and I think you'll be a okay if you do that. Alright, and that is the first one. As you can see, I gotta clean all down here, but this is what we're looking like. I like it, I like it. I'll make sure I show you guys in the sun. Perfect lineup, perfect, perfect lineup. Since I did that side already, it's pretty quick on um, how to do this side. Same thing, line it up, clean it off. I'm hot, but I just got done, guys, and I want you guys to check it out for yourself. Tell me what you think.